That's 867-1965. We're saving thousands with Robert Palmer. Uh, so yeah, so rule number one is always shop around. Always shop around. If you're trying to get a mortgage, if you're trying to get the best credit card, if you're looking at student loans, cell phone bills, you name it, rule number one is always shop around. Always shop around. That's rule number one, just one more vital part of fighting back to stop being a financial zombie. Yes, you can take the mystery out of the complicated world of finances, take charge when it comes to your money. Listen in on The Source, 96.3 FM and 1370 AM, Saturdays at 12.05. Five minutes after 8 o'clock, nice looking Tuesday morning. Galen, you know this on the phone from Life South Community Blood Center. The important message that Galen brings to us each weekday morning is that there is no blood supply if people like you and I don't go donate blood. And it's a real simple process to do. It's painless. And you get to watch TV and you get to eat cookies. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Galen. How you doing? Hey, good morning, Larry Robin. How are y'all? Good. Where are you right now? Tree zone. In, the, in the tree, tree zone. zone. Comfortably. Yes. I like that word. I do, I do have a, a sports yes. th- uh, theme today, but I don't want to move forward if you have something you'd like to say about anything. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, here, and, and this is what I said off the air, and so I'll repeat it on the air. I, I, I asked you when the Florida primary is, and it is August second of next when, year. August second of twenty sixteen. So it's one year, about one year and two weeks away. Right. What are the odds that Donald Trump is still in the presidential race then? So that we have a chance. I'm not saying whether he's on the ballot. He may still be on the ballot. But it doesn't mean he'll still be in the race. What are the odds that he's still in the race? Okay, and yeah, I and I, I, I hear your point, but but here's but here's my point. What what are the chances? Same thing as odds that he wants to be. <laughs> uh, well, <laughs> right yeah, now, I mean, t- I, today, I mean, what what is the likelihood yeah. that he wants to be on the ballot? It's a hundred percent. There's a hundred percent chance that he wants to be. Unless this is a big game and he's faking it. Um, but otherwise, and, and, if he, and if he wants to be, then I think he should listen to what people are saying and, and humble himself a little bit, you know? Well, I, yeah, I mean, I get your point. But the thing is, is Donald Trump has gotten to where he is because he hasn't listened to other people. He's taken risks that people wouldn't take. He's done things his own way. Um, and it's been successful for him. And so he's not about to change that. Um, he's never been a pleaser, um, but you know, being the president means you have to kind of be a pleaser because you have to get people to like you enough, or like you more than they like the other guy. And and, and, and to be honest with you, I think uh, I think Trump will will be out of the race, or he will take himself out of the race by the time we get to vote. So, usually by the time Florida gets to vote, there's only two people left in the election in, in the primary. Right, right. Anyway. Well, well, okay. So, uh, you know, if if I were to say that McCain is not a hero, I'm sure that there would be a lot of people saying, "Oh my gosh, that was so wrong. He is a hero." I'm sure people yeah. would be telling me left and right he why did. why it was wrong. That's right. Now he'll make it clear. He goes, "He did say he was a hero." I know. He just got caught. He but. got captured. Yeah. And the people that I like don't get captured. That's the part, you know. It, it, you know, and that's the part. He's like, well, what did I say that was not true? It, again, but this is it's 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 the Donald. I I mean, this is kind of what we wanted, isn't it? Isn't this what kind of what we expected when we found out that Donald Trump was running? We knew he was going to say things that were against the grain and borderline stupid on a routine basis. And it's almost like a train wreck where you have to. But I don't even say that. You don't want to watch it, but you, but you, you but, have to watch it. Okay, but I don't even say that. I don't say it's borderline stupid. I think what he says, a lot of what he says makes a lot of sense. Mm-hmm. That's why everyone, if you stub your oh. toe, you know, hey, l- let me point out that thing on the floor you keep stubbing your toe oh, yeah. on. Yeah. Yeah. But, that's, but this is Donald Trump. He's not going to do that. Yeah. Well, that okay. I have, I can't argue that. I mean, that's just a man's personality, I mean, the way he right. is. But as, as if, I mean, do you, wait, like wait a minute. So you and I are friends. So I, I say yeah, something absolutely. where somebody should be apologized to. You say to me, "Hey, Larry, I think you should apologize." You, you think I should? I mean, or, or should I? Should I not? Because I want to be. I want to be as big and and bold as Donald Trump, who puts his name on a building. Mm-hmm. 
I, I don't even hardly so, say my name on the air, okay? Yeah. I know. <laughs> I don't even ho- right, but and so you can't compare yourself to Donald Trump, and I, I don't, I, but, I, you know, you know how I meant that. But Donald is a completely different individual. He's made his living. He's made his name by doing things against the grain. I mean, the guy wrote a book about himself three times. <laughs> I, I, I mean, and, more than three. The first one, I think there's more than three well, out there. There probably are. I think they, he rewrote it because he has done so many improvements. <laughs> In fact, he's but releasing I mean, a new book. On. There's a new book out there right now <laughs> that you can get for free. That you can get for free. Uh huh. Just pay yeah. postage and handling. I mean, the guy takes credit for things that he had nothing to do with. He talks about how, and I've read his first book because I, I was, the art of the I deal. Was pretty impressed by the story. Yeah, I, 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 I read the art of the deal. Story. Yeah, well, well, but, the guy's got. Hey, when you look at what he, how he su- actually made his money, success he, he leaves a clues. His dad gave him a million and told him to go buy this property, and, he <laughs> and then he did it over and over. Success leaves clues. His dad gave him a hundred thousand, I think, not a million. Yeah. Uh, okay. I think I'm not. Okay, I could be wrong. Right. But anyway, but, su- again, but success leaves clues. We we read books by people like Donald Trump because we say, "Gosh, well, how did he do it? I want I want to do what he did." I I absolutely. I, I like the guy. I admire the guy. That why I wouldn't want him to apologize if I didn't like him. Right. You, yeah. I think I think if P- if Putin said something, let him let him let him say something stupid. Look, we we've got some bad comments on our YouTube video from yesterday. <laughs> Those people should apologize to me. Why are you putting the F word on, on our video exactly. page? That's, that's exactly. foolish. Well, and again, it's, it's Donald. And to think that he's going to apologize. And, and let's All right. I, I mean, we're making a much ado about nothing. Good. Let's change the subject. In a, year, in a year from now, he will no longer be in the presidential race. Period. Fair enough. Let's just... So. I, I want to hear about the blood. But I also want to tell you that there's an article that names 15 NFL players that are underpaid and I want to hear your thoughts on these guys okay alright okay because okay. you, you know this I don't know this stuff this is like telling me that Mick Jagger is underpaid I would have <laughs> at, at least I'd have some idea <laughs> yeah. oh my god I think he is I can't believe they're still performing <laughs> he, just, he just hangs around you, hey, you owe Mick around. an apology he's not that bad is it, at this <laughs> no, I am not a, I am I'm not teasing. a Rolling Stones fan <laughs> I'm just not I don't know well okay just not. That's that's a, that's to a, me. He's kind of like Bruce Springsteen. I mean, there's like one or two songs they make that I like. Yeah, yeah. But I don't get the the uh, the people who just think that they're the greatest thing that's ever walked. Well, that that, that I, describes me too. I've, I've I've said this for many many performers that they wouldn't sell one record if I was if everybody had my tastes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, all right. I mean, let's be honest. They're no James Taylor. <laughs> <laughs> Which, by the way, James Taylor is uh, inviting people to meet him at Fenway Park. Fen- Fenway Park, is that what you call it? Yeah, he's doing a wow. concert there or something, cool. right? Yeah, he's performing with, uh, oh gosh, what's her name again? Uh, oh, the red-headed lady, Robin. What's her name? Oh, uh, um, uh, Nicole Kidman. No, 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 it's a musician. musician. <laughs> oh, well, she sings. I mean, that's just like, I like her Oh, I can't remember. But anyway, so... Um, Bonnie Ray. That's it. Bonnie Ray. Bonnie Ray. Yeah. Okay. Okay. There you go. But hey. you do have to credit the Rolling Stones. They put out a, a, a <laughs> collection where they they perform with an orchestra, and that was outstanding. Love yeah, that so did one. Boston. Well, Not so. the Hall of Fame. So they it didn't. Know. Well. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> a lot of people have done that. You know that. Yeah. Yeah, but, but I think what Rob was talking about was the the London Symphony Orchestra took their songs and arranged them. They didn't play yeah. with them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They, they basically were sh- <laughs> saying, "Look, the melodies aren't so bad if you do it this way." Exactly. <laughs> Galen, how's the blood right. supply? What do we need to know? <laughs> we uh, we we need we need type O and we need um, Rh negative units. So if you're an A negative, B negative, or O negative, and we need you to get out there and donate, we're in pretty critical need. So uh, please roll up your sleeves and give the gift of life and donate blood. Donate blood, yes, absolutely. And thank Penn Flooring for the the opportunity that Galen has each day to do this because without yes. Penn Flooring sponsoring this, we wouldn't be able to do this. So. Yes. You can make your home look better from the floor up by putting some new flooring in, and um, Pen Flooring will show you what they have, and they'll put it in for you. They'll tell you what you need to do to keep it looking nice for a long time. They are at 1201 Southwest 17th Street. They have a showroom over there where you can see some of the samples. 
The uh, the address is just by the bridge that we call the McKay Williams Bridge, named after two former governors from the state of Florida. Yes. About a Soon co- to be the Trump Bridge. <laughs> <laughs> You imagine All right, so you. I have here, when we come out of the break, um, 15 underpaid NFL players. The yes. an, the analysis excludes players in their first three NFL seasons, whatever that means. Oh, all right. All right, so this is from Fox Sports senior NFL writer Alex Marvez. That's his opinion. These guys are underpaid. We'll be right back to get Galen's thoughts on these guys. <laughs> The weather is brought to you by MyFWC.com. Safe boating is no accident. Sunshine mixing with clouds today with a thunderstorm around this afternoon and early tonight. Today's high 88 to 92. Partly to mostly cloudy later tonight, though 74 to 78. Tomorrow, clouds and some sun with a thunderstorm or two around in the afternoon and evening, the high 90 to 94. And Thursday, times of sun and clouds with a couple of afternoon thunderstorms, high 88 to 92. From the Florida Weather Center, I'm meteorologist Joe Lundberg. Prestige Food Trucks, the world's leading food truck manufacturer, specializing for the startup vendor, all the way up to restaurant chains, is a proud sponsor of Food Truck Talks, the weekly show heard every Wednesday at 9 a.m. on The Source, WOCA News Talk, that brings you the inside scoop, ladle, spatula, spoon, fork, and plate from inside of the custom food trucks you see in and around town. Find what makes each food truck unique in its own way, from the food they serve to how it's prepared in their custom manufactured truck. Food Truck Talks, Wednesdays at 9 a.m., sponsored by Prestige Food Trucks. What are the most common questions those nearing retirement are asking? Will I outlive my money? Retirement questions like these and many more will be answered every Saturday morning at 9 a.m. on planning for a better and safer retirement with hosts Francois and Julian Cozanet. Francois and Julian will help you put your retirement puzzle together. Catch planning for a better and safer retirement Saturdays at 9 a.m. on Ocala's News Talk, The Source 96.3 FM and 1370 a.m. Who doesn't love heading out on the boat with a family, hitting the ATV trails with friends, or blazing new stretches of highway with riding buddies? Your toys are your ticket to outdoor fun. At the McDonald Allstate Agency, we get to know you and help make sure you have all the right coverages. Plus, when you bundle your coverage for your car and your home with your boat, motorcycle, RV, or more, you can save up to 30%. So call the McDonald Allstate Agency today at 622-2333 or stop by one of our two Ocala locations at Cal Hills or the Jasmine Square Plaza. Subject to terms, condition, and availability. Savings vary. Hi, this is Brad. I want to take a moment to talk about a serious issue. In the next five years, the aviation industry is projected to have a shortage of commercial pilots. Now is the time to start training. Ocala Flying Club has started a scholarship for the youth of Marion County ages 17 to 24. The club will donate up to $4,000 towards a pilot's license. This will help get the student on their way to obtain their commercial pilot license. If this sounds like something you would be interested in, or if you know someone that would be, please contact Ocala Aviation Services, 861-7484. R&D Tactical Solutions, Ocala's indoor gun range. 12 climate-controlled, state-of-the-art lanes. R&D Tactical Solutions, full retail store, everything from firearms to CCW classes. Located next to the Supervisor of Elections. Open 9 to 7 weekdays, 9 to 5 Saturdays, and 10 to 4 Sundays. Call 622-7468. R&D Tactical Solutions, Ocala's indoor gun range. Call 622-7468. Minutes after eight o'clock. Nice looking Tuesday. Seventy six degrees. I, did I tell you the forecast? Let me do the let me do the weatherman thing a little quickly. Mm-hmm. I'm, okay. I'm not a weatherman. There's a fifty percent chance we'll see rain today. Fifty percent chance. Oh, okay. Uh, we had rain yesterday, didn't we? Tiny bit. Yeah, yeah, bit. we did. Kind of. I liked it. All right, Galen, are you still there? I am still here, Larry. All right, we yeah. have here, and, and it's a very yeah. it's a sports sports talk here. All right. All right. All right, so real quickly, Fox Sports senior NFL writer Alex Marvez lists in his article 15 NFL players who are underpaid entering the 2015 season, according to him, I guess. Uh, yeah. it's, it says here, here's the disclaimer, the analysis excludes players in their first three NFL seasons because they are not eligible for new deals under the rules of the right. collective bargaining agreement. So there's others who get paid even less than these guys, right? Right, yeah. All right, so with that said, let's see what you think about these salaries. Cincinnati safety George Iloka. <laughs> he, are you laughing? Right. Yeah. How do, how do you say his name? No, I, I just, no that's right. I just, uh, I'm surprised he's number 
what number is he? Fifteen? Oh, I don't even know. I didn't put him in order. But oh, they, he just put them in there. Yeah, I mean, he he, he plays for. Uh, he makes. He, make, he allows a lot of big plays. All right. Um. He he earns six hundred sixty thousand dollars a year. Yeah. Oh. Should we feel sorry for him? Six hundred sixty thousand dollars. Well, you say. You know, and I, we've talked about it before. I mean, the NFL, the, the average lifespan of an NFL player is like 18 months. So, um, and, and they don't, they have long-term medical issues. They need to make as much money as they can. So, I, I don't have a problem with that. But see, that doesn't even make sense to me. Here's, here's why. Mm-hmm. Let, let's look at, at music. A, 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 a recording artist typically, I mean, unless your name is Michael Jackson, <laughs> or <Yeah>. the Rolling Stones. <laughs> you have a very short-lived musical career. Yeah. Very short-lived. Three did, years. Three did years. Your lifespan change if you're a musician. I'm not so sure what you mean. What do you mean by that? So it, for every year you spend in the NFL, every year you're a, a, a player in the NFL, right. it takes two years off your life. Okay. I, okay. Well, I, and again, I don't see how that plays a role in my the amount of money I make. Mm-hmm. If you have a hit record. <laughs> Hold on now. If if you have a hit, you, you, the money you make as a recording artist is is completely from two things: the sale of of recordings and the sale of tickets. So that's it. If you don't sell yeah. recordings and you don't sell tickets, you don't make any money. Right, you're done. Right. Okay. So in the NFL, your money is completely made from two things. Also, it, it's the sale of merchandise and the sale of tickets. Mm-hmm. And that's that's right. And in the NFL player. Does it get any of the money directly from the merchandise that's sold with their name on it or otherwise? It goes into this pool, and then it goes to the retirement fund, which you don't qualify for unless you've played a certain number of years in the NFL. But if you're part of a team, just as if you're part of a band, and and that team draws ga- gazillions of dollars, then that money should be split between among the team. No. Right. It doesn't work that way. Okay, I know it doesn't, but in my mind, it should have nothing at all to do with the longevity of your career. Mm-hmm. It should have well, it, it, it no, should I, have I, to I, do I, with I, how I, how much money you're pulling in as a team. Uh, absolutely, no, I, I I get it, and you got to remember the the number of people who play in the NFL who have the honor, if you will, playing in the NFL. They're in the top one percent. I mean, they're less than one percent. So, if every team there's there's thirty two teams in the NFL, and each team has fifty three players. You see how small that pool is. Um, it's a, it's they're they are the best of the best. So. Okay. Well, his ca- his case. The author, the 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 journalist's case here is that this guy uh, George Iloka had seventy four tackles, improved strong in coverage with three interceptions, and um, and he's only making six hundred sixty thousand dollars. He says he should yep. be paid more for that. Okay. Just absolutely. Just getting your absolutely. thoughts on that. Good morning. You're on the air. Good morning. Hey, you know, this guy, the people you're naming, uh, Galen, I'm, I'm not real familiar with them, and I should probably be, but they're probably newer players that uh, are in their first or second year. They haven't made that big <laughs> name for themselves. Once they, you know, they get highlighted on uh, the news, uh, you know, during broadcast, during, during games, those guys, the next year when their contracts come, if they make it next year, they skyrocket, and they triple, and they quadruple, and... You know, it, 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 so um, eventually, you know, if they keep proving themselves, they will be making the big bucks. Linda, did you did you hear the disclaimer? What's that? The disclaimer says the the uh, the, no, the people on this list exclude the players in their first three NFL seasons. So they're over three years. These are all over three yeah. years. Yeah. yeah. Well, they haven't made uh, Galen. Are they big name players? Or are they just like your? Your, um, He's only you know, heard your, one name so far. That, like there's some players on the Packers that you never hear about. They're just they're 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 just not household names, and they play well, but they just never made it to that household name status. And those are and then all of a sudden you skyrocket. I mean, six hundred thousand dollars sounds good you know, to me. I know that <laughs> players made That'd a couple of years ago. Well, not even you know, twenty years ago or fifteen. You know, Lynn Dickey was a great quarterback for the Packers. I think he was one of the best quarterbacks that ever played the game. And I don't think he made one hundred fifty, two hundred thousand. And the man's crippled up today. You know, with uh, pl- uh, plates in his legs, and and you know they, they get hit hard. And, and yeah, they, they probably should make more because of the longevity. You know, the lack of longevity of their careers, like Galen was saying. You know, eighteen months on average. And then you know when you say 
two years for every off your, off your life. My God, look at these players that played 20 years. You know, that that's 40 years off their life, the quality of their life. I mean, you know, Brett Farr came to All right, well, but I, I, all right, Linda, so far I've only named one player, so let me let me yeah. name the others, all right? Yeah, but, I mean, these guys look old because of the time. They really look old. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you. I don't know. I mean, okay, so the, so so George Iloka is not famous. Is that what she's saying? Right. Yeah. Okay. There are uh, very few household names in the NFL. There are very very few. There's one or two per team at most. Miami defense and Olivier Vernon. Uh yeah. I, I think he's actually a really solid player. Yeah. What does he make? Seven hundred thousand. Seven hundred thousand. I'm surprised by that. Yeah, he's a he's a big contributor for that team. All right. So yeah, that is low. All right. Let me uh, let me just kind of give some more names before we get any more calls. Let's see. Uh, Jacksonville punter Brian Anger. No, he's a punter. We don't talk about kickers. Six hundred eighty nine thousand dollars. That's a lot of money for a punter. What's the name of the field that they play on? Uh, it's some bank. Everbank. Uh, Everbank. Everbank. Yeah. We get we got an invitation to play up there. Some music. Yeah, nice. Go enjoy before they go to London. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I said to Robert. I said, "Isn't this the team that's moving to London?" Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, we did. We got invi- we, we got an invitation to play. They're doing some kind of a corporate event. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So we're oh, going. You should go. We're going. Yeah. We're, we're going to be umpaing for yes. the for the Jaguars. Jaguars. <laughs> well, hopefully you'll make some money. I doubt that we'll make that much. Yeah. No. It's probably the it's probably the reason they called us. Maybe, maybe yeah. the punter will show up and go, hey, that guy said I don't deserve that money. All right, here's another one. Uh Dallas defensive tackle Tyrone Crawford. Six hundred yeah, underrated on a uh, underrated on a uh overrated team. Six hundred seventy five thousand dollars. Yeah, solid guy in the middle stops the run. All right, here's another one from Florida. Tampa Bay linebacker Levant. David Levante, David. Yeah. Levant. Or no, listen, listen to no, listen to his his, up, his salary is seven hundred thirty-eight thousand four hundred eighteen dollars a year, plus he has a one hundred twenty-five thousand dollar workout bonus. What does that mean? Yeah, it just means if he shows up for off the field uh, or for like uh, training camps. And My stuff. gosh. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, so I mean, sure. they have to put those things in the in the in the uh, contract. You, we show if up you for look at some NFL contracts and professional contracts, there's some crazy stuff in there. So, <laughs> like, if you're signed on a certain day, if you're still on the roster, you get these huge bonuses. Yeah, there's some strange stuff, and that's why they get cut, like, right before their, their signing day. All right. wow. Roster bonus. Indianapolis so, wide wow. receiver T.Y. Hilton makes only... He, Six hundred sixty-five thousand dollars. Yeah, you, you know the thing with Ty is he's he's in a great system. I don't I don't know if he could be that productive anywhere else, but he's he's very very good and uh, he's got a really good young quarterback and that's his go-to guy. So uh, yeah. almost three quarter of a million. Fine with me. <laughs> All right, uh, did I say about St. Louis kicker Greg Zurline? Six hundred ninety-one thousand one hundred two dollars. Zurline. Okay. Yeah, he's a he's a kicker. Yeah, but you need. We don't kickers. talk about kickers. Yeah, but you, you, <laughs> you, know, you need. I can go right now and find a kicker. I don't care about kickers. Okay. Oh. So, you, so you're basically not arguing with us. You're arguing with Alex um, Marvez. I understand his point. Kicking is a very important part of the game. I just don't like talking about. It. It's called. It's called <laughs> football. You would think that kicking is important. Yeah, it's not that important. It's called it's football. Very it's called. <laughs> Football. It's a very important aspect of the game, but they're kickers. They're right, now here's players. here's a guy who's making one and a half million dollars a year, and this guy Alex Marvez thinks he's not making enough. He is Seattle quarterback Russell Wilson. Well, the guy won a Super Bowl. I mean, uh, he he's arguably one of the top five quarterbacks in the game, and most quarterbacks make about twelve million dollars a year. So, yeah, he's vastly underpaid. But I think it just sign. And, and the thing is, is he can't even sign. A deal. He can't do anything with his deal until this one runs out because of the collective bargaining agreement. Oh, okay. so. oh. But I haven't heard of him as a you know you, you usually you the, haven't heard of Russell the, Wilson. He was yeah he was in the you, Super Bowl this year. Oh well, usually the, 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 the uh, quarterbacks they're like on on Wheaties boxes and they're like <laughs> shoe stuff and everything. And I haven't heard of him. <laughs> he threw the interception in the game last year oh. in the Super Bowl. <laughs> he, he's dating some super uh, pop model. star. Model. Oh, model, pop. model, super. No, she's a she's a singer too. 
oh. Sierra, and then he decided he, they were going to be abstinent, even though they've both been married before. Oh. So, oh. Yeah. <laughs> that, that was out, like, last week. Russell Wilson. <laughs> okay. He signed up at Ashley Madison. Let me just Yeah, I'm sure he's... <laughs> thank you. I was, was going to say. All right. Uh, well, we, there, were, there were others. <laughs> St. Louis quarterback Nick Foles, one and a half million. Washington running back uh-huh. Alfred Morris, one and a half million. And Pittsburgh tackle Kevin Kelvin Beecham, one and a half million dollars. Beautiful. Gay, Gay, where's the blood mobile today? College of Central Florida, Larry. Right across the street. Oh, through Wednesday, you said. Go Wednesday, donate blood. Yep. All right. College. And go donate blood at Life South. You know where they are. Thank you, Galen. All right. Bye, y'all. All right. <laughs> Growing pressure on Donald Trump after a controversial statement about Senator John McCain's war record. He's a war hero because he was captured. I like people that weren't captured. Since making that statement Saturday, Trump has been criticized by Republicans, veterans groups, and many others. Fox's Kelly Wright, the Des Moines Register has published an editorial saying Trump has proven himself not only unfit to hold office, but unfit to stand on the same stage as his Republican opponents. The president facing convention of veterans this morning as he travels to Pittsburgh for the Veterans of Foreign Wars National Convention. And country superstars Blake Shelton and Miranda Lambert announced their divorce after four years of marriage. The couple released a statement saying this is not the future we envisioned and it is with heavy heart that we move forward separately. We kindly ask for privacy and compassion concerning this very personal matter. Fox Radio's Michelle Polino, Fox News. We report, you decide. There's more to Fox News Radio than meets the ear. Go behind the headlines and join the conversation on the hottest stories of the day on the Fox News Radio Facebook page. Be a part of the Fox News Radio Facebook fan community. Post comments and tell us your opinions. See behind-the-scenes photos and videos and post your reactions to the stories that matter to you. Click the like button on Facebook and connect with breaking news and features like Fox in the Fast Lane, House Call for Help, and more. Go to Facebook.com slash Fox News Radio. Weeknights, we're busting out a brand new lineup. First, market fraud, government abuse, corruption. At 5, nothing's off limits on money with Melissa Francis. Then, bloated bank fees to consumer scams. At 6, Jerry's exposing the issues impacting your wallet. Plus, get smart market insight and trusted analysis you won't find anywhere else. At 7, Lou Dobbs is all business. And the first and last name in business, Cavuto. Shedding light on the biggest stories, making headlines at 8. Only on the Fox Business Network. Giving you the power to prosper. Howdy, R.L. here for Dairy Queen. Spring is in the air, and so is the smell of meat cooking on our charbroil grill. You want to treat yourself to one of our most excellent grilled chicken sandwiches or wraps, or maybe a foot-long all-beef chili dog, and wash it down with an orange Julius fruit smoothie with many real fruit flavors. So come on down to Dairy Queen Silver Springs, where we always treat you like kings and queens. Here's what you may have missed on the John Tesh Radio Show. It's the annoying feeling when you know you wanted to Google something, but you forgot it as soon as you opened the browser. Now you know it's a thing. Google Heimerness. Life is a buffet. We should take from it what we need and leave the rest. Because when we overcommit, we create a lot of stress. Worrying about the future or past pulls you out of the here and now, but a strong citrus scent helps you focus on what's happening right now. Intelligence for your life on the John Tesh Radio Show. Don't miss this stuff. Robin, let's try a little plant trivia. Name this nursery. It's a not-for-profit, and it teaches growing and caring for plants to their students. Oh, that's easy. Kenny's Place. Or how about this one? It's a nursery conveniently located between Ocala and Bellevue. Again, it's Kenny's Place. Or how about this one? A nursery with a wide variety of just what you need or want at the most reasonable prices. Kenny's Place, of course. Kenny's Place at 7677 Southeast 41st Court. Give them a call at 867-1213. It's a caring place for people and plants. It's Kenny's Place. Dean Powell Pasture Mowing, 352-629-2440. In addition to our pasture mowing service, we also offer fence row spraying. Now is the perfect time to get ahead on weed control for an overall aesthetic appearance. Dean Powell Pasture Mowing, 352-629-2440 or online at powellgene, G-E-N-E, at yahoo.com. We are licensed and insured. Dean Powell Pasture Mowing, 352-629-2440. There's a car accident in this country every five seconds. That's why Allstate thinks it's time for an entirely different kind of car insurance. 
with features like accident forgiveness and a safe driving bonus. It's called Your Choice Auto, and it's only from Allstate. Are you in good hands? You deserve better. Sign up for Your Choice Auto from Allstate. Call the McDonald Agency today at 622-2333. Features are optional and subject to terms, conditions, and availability. Allstate Insurance, Northbrook, Illinois. 